Hello and welcome back to the channel Living in the Philippines. This is the ninth video of the list of cities to visit in the Philippines, and it's all about Bantayan Island. Located off the northwestern tip of Cebu Island, Bantayan is a haven of peace. Here, there is no diving, canyoning, or volcano to climb. On the other hand, there are dazzling white sand beaches with crystal clear waters, succulent seafood cuisine, and lively bars. Bantayan Island was once a sleepy fishing village. Now it is reaping the rewards of tourism by offering a more laid-back alternative to Boracay. It has proven itself while remaining a privileged place for backpackers for its natural beauty and serene atmosphere. The island of 16 kilometers by 11 has around 120,000 inhabitants spread over three cities, Santa Fe, Bantayan, and Maderdejos. Relax and bucolic, the town of Santa Fe covering the southeastern part of the island is a tourist center with the best beaches. Kota Beach Kota Beach is the most photogenic in Bantayan for its sparkling white sand and palm frigid shore. At low tide, a sandbank creates a lagoon where the water changes color throughout the day. Kota Beach is located in the main tourist area of Santa Fe, where the most of the accommodation is located. Its location on the east coast of the island makes it a great spot to watch the sunrise. Paradise Beach, also known as Mini Virgin Island. It is a private beach less crowded than Kota Beach. Entrance fee is 50 pesos and the beach is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It is easily accessible from Santa Fe in 10 minutes on two wheels or 45 minutes on foot. Azure waters, a powdery white sand shore, small sea cave, and large coconut palms are good reason to visit this piece of natural paradise. Access to the beach is via a set of stairs built the small cliffs. At the western end are half dozen umbrellas and lounge chairs. There is also a small reef ideal for snorkeling session. Sugar Beach, located just 10 minute walk south of Kota Beach. This coconut palm fridge public beach is Santa Fe's most popular beach. Many bungalows have been set up in the shade of coconut trees and it is possible to camp on site for around 150 pesos per night. Some seaside resorts welcome visitors and allows them to enjoy their facilities provided they consume. Sugar Beach is also a great place to watch the sunrise. Umajika Bub of Mangrove Located 7 kilometers west of Santa Fe, about 15 minutes on two wheels, the Umajika Mangrove Garden is arguably the most popular attraction on the island as a famous Filipino movie called Camp Sawi was filmed there. The place is now visited by many tourists, especially Filipinos. The entrance fee is 50 pesos. The tour takes place on an elevated bamboo path through the mangroves. There is also the possibility of visiting by kayak for 150 pesos additional or in a small wooden boat for 350 pesos. Tricycles ride from Santa Fe for around 120 pesos. Virgin Island, located approximately 30 minutes by boat from Kota Beach, the Virgin Island is a private island with an entrance fee of 500 pesos for the first two people and 100 pesos for each additional person per boat. A boat that can accommodate up to eight people cost 1,000 pesos. Snorkeling equipment is not included. It takes 120 pesos. The island is truly beautiful and very appointed with pontoons bungalows, and hammocks. Of course, there are no scooters or bikes, and only one reasonably priced restaurant and bar. Activities include cliff jumping, reef snorkeling, and beach volleyball. Many corals was destroyed during Typhoon Yolanda in 2013, but nature takes its place and as in all in the Philippines, the underwater life is abundant. Virgin Islands' main beach looks like a postcard image. The white sands Ashore waters and huts in the shade of coconut palms makes it an island paradise. Balitbid Lagoon, located on the east coast approximately 10 minutes by two wheels north of the port of Santa Fe, this saltwater lagoon that winds inland is surrounded by lush vegetation and bordered by white sand banks. 
by entrance fees 20 pesos per person. St. Peter and Paul Church Located in the center of the town of Bantayan, in front of Public Square, 10 kilometers from Santa Fe or 20 minutes by two wheels, St. Peter and Paul Church, built in 1580, is the oldest parish church in Visayas and Mindanao. The ceiling of this century-old church with coral stone walls was beautifully redecorated by a dozen local artists between 2016 and 2019. Cota Park, a fort built by the Spanish in 1790s, stood here, but the forces of nature got the better of it, and the place was turned into a park. Located in Madre de Jos, the northern tip of the island, 25 kilometers from Santa Fe, or about 45 minutes by transport, the park is famous for its 187-meter-long walkway and the beautiful sunset view. It is best to visit Kota Park Beach at high tide as there are many rocks visible at low tide. Skydiving Bantayan Island is home to Skydive Cebu, one of the few skydiving establishments in the Philippines. They offer tandem jumps. The activity takes about 2 hours and costs 19,000 pesos. Bantayan also has a vibrant nightlife around the main center of Santa Fe, with dozens of sport bars, karaoke bars, billiards, restaurants, night markets, and many other lively establishments. MJ Square, located just behind Kota Beach, is the most popular eating place in Bantayan Island. The restaurants are primarily aimed at budget travelers. They offer a wide variety of cuisine from all backgrounds. The must-try local dish is seafood curry. How to get around Bantayan Island One of the best adventures to do in Bantayan is to simply hire a two-wheeler and tour the island at your own pace. Many rental agencies or hotels rent scooters for 200 to 300 pesos per day, as well as bikes for 100 to 150 pesos per day. A tricycle can also be privatized for half a day for 500 to 700 pesos. How to get to Bantayan Island? From Cebu Airport, buses run to the North Bus Station every 30 minutes from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. The fare is 25 pesos and the trip lasts between 20 to 30 minutes depending on the traffic. Outside these hours, a taxi or grub runs between 200 and 300 pesos depending on the traffic. At Cebu North Bus Station, service buses go to Hagnaya Port. Travel time is about 4 hours and the fare is 200 pesos for air-conditioned bus and 160 pesos for a regular bus. From the port of Hagnaya, ferries connect to the port of Santa Fe. The first crossing is 4 a.m. and the last is 6 p.m. Journey time is around 1 hour and 15 minutes and the fare is 195 pesos with a 10 pesos terminal fee included. At the port of Santa Fe, an ecological tax of 30 pesos is collected. Bantayan Island is the perfect place to relax and laze on the beach. Despite its growing popularity, the island is still a heaven of peace to enjoy white sand and crystal clear water. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe and turn the bell on to receive notification of future posts. A big thank you for your support and encouragement. Please feel free to comment on topics that interest you. With that, take care and see you soon!